Hi, my name is Rameshwar Sahu. I go by the name Ram. I am the CEO of Unbound B2B. Uh, we are a <coughs> B2B lead generation and demand generation company. Uh, you know, we we based out of three countries now. We have recently expanded to Dubai. Uh, our company started in uh, 2016 back in India with two people. So, uh, so our company Unbound B2B started as a uh, you know startup for two people, uh, and uh, our initial focus was to provide insights and services to uh, technology companies, uh, you know companies that I that that either sell IT product or services. Um, so, in the first year, we we, we had our own struggle, but then we. Uh, you know, we were able to grow our teams in the first year itself from two people to 40 and uh, with just one service on the offering, which was inside sales. Um, in the second year onwards, uh, we figured that there is, there is more to, there's more that we can do and we started including more uh, services or solutions in our portfolio, including demand generation, lead generation. And uh, we remained B2B focused, we remained focused on uh, IT as a domain. And uh, that is where we built our core capabilities in, um, you know, two, three years. <clears throat> we focused on uh, creating best practices, uh, developing um, and creating databases that will help our clients uh, generate more sales uh, pipeline. And uh, gradually, uh, you know, five years down the line, we are no more inside sales company. You know, the whole story is turned. Inside sales is still one of the services that we offer, but then our primary business has become demand generation, lead generation, we are, where we are helping companies uh, launch new products to new markets. And uh, why we are able to do that is because we have built an audience of uh, 20 million B2B professionals, IT professionals specifically across the globe. So if there was a company uh, which needed help with um, entering a new market, or introducing a new product, or simply doing a webinar, we should be able to help them, uh, you know, create a campaign and target a unique audience that they are probably not able to reach through search and social, and uh, that's what our uh, value proposition has been. So this company Unbound B2B, uh, <clears throat> you know, we, we expanded not just in number of people but in terms of value that we provided to our clients. Um, you know, we we, was, we were we were based out of Pune, India. <clears throat> we started with two people. We have more than 450 people globally now. Uh, 2019, we expanded our operation to US. We have a we have presence in San Francisco and New York. And very recently in 2022, we expanded our business to uh, Dubai. What we're looking forward to do here is uh, to capture uh, or to grow our business in Middle East market as well as European market. So a lot of people think that, um, you know, Unbound is a quick success and easy success. Well, it wasn't easy when, you know, it does look like a fast growing company and looks like a successful company and it must have come easy to all of us, but it hasn't been like that. You know, it takes a lot of preparation to do a startup, uh, to give you a, you know, to give you a perspective of preparation, right? The reason, one reason why we were successful in the first year itself, uh, while we knew there were chances of failure, but we were successful is because me and my business partner, Nishan, uh, when we decided to start this business, we already had more than a decade of experience in selling technology products to companies. So we knew who our customers are, we knew how they sell, and we knew what their pain points and challenges were. And that's how we you know, came up with the idea of doing Unbound B2B and uh, providing lead generation as a service or inside sales as a service. Now, lead generation, inside sales, these are very old <coughs> buzz, uh, keywords that we use, but in the last decade or so, uh, you know, marketing has evolved, uh, the process of lead generation has evolved, uh, the strategies and methods have evolved, you know, it's called, so, you know, uh, today, content marketing, account-based marketing, demand generation, right, these are the buzzwords that has been used, but again, the end product of any of these uh, strategies uh, is, is a lead, right? And the quality of lead or the qualification of the lead or um, you know that that may vary depending on what type of campaign you're running but um, but that's how that's that's how the industry has evolved so you know going back to the point that uh, you know the preparation was there right i mean i started working uh, when i was uh, 17 years of age uh, you know i took a job after my uh, junior high and um, that was a summer job basically. I wanted to prepare for university and have some pocket money. But then I liked my job so much that I continued uh, to 
continued my job even after even after I got placement for engineering. And uh, so I was supposed to be a mechanical engineer, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> So, uh, <clears throat> but when we started, uh, when when this when this whole journey started, right, I had no idea that I'm going to be here, you know, CEO of Unborn B2B, you know, leader of 250 people, you know, 100 plus amazing clients across the globe. No idea about this, but um, you know, you, I followed an instinct. Uh, so, and it was difficult too, right? I mean, because um, the summer job that I had taken was in a call center <clears throat> back in India, and. Uh, and obviously, I was doing night shifts, and I used to work 9:30 p.m. at night till 6:30 a.m. I'll come home, have my breakfast, go to college at 9 a.m., come back by 3 p.m., and uh, and then take a nap for four hours, five hours, and go back to work. That was my schedule for um, you know for the first and second year of my engineering, so for two years. And um, that's when 2008 recession happened, and um, you know. Uh, my elder brother, who is uh, two years older than me, he, he had just completed his engineering and uh, I could see that he was struggling to get a job. So, by the way, he, he, he wasn't working like I was working while, uh, while doing my studies. So, but he was always good in academics and he was also always better than me. So, I, I, when I saw this struggle, I realized that what's the point of me being an engineer if I'm going to suffer this in the next two years? Uh, while I was doing my engineering, I was... Uh, uh, I was also, you know, working at, at a call center. But in the first two years um, of my career, I excelled, right? I already got promoted as a team manager and I was enjoying my job. More than the job, um, uh, I think I was enjoying that part wherein, you know, I was independent, right? Uh, you know, financially and I was able to make my own decisions. You know, family was giving me more level, uh, more freedom in order to make decisions. So all of those, that process I was enjoying, right? And even at that point, I didn't think that what am I going to do with my life? I was just enjoying the process of it, and I realized that if uh, if this recession, if this recession is so bad that my brother cannot get a job who's um, you know who's academically better than me, uh, what would I do? So, and uh, any which visit was getting really difficult, right? Those who have gone gone for engineering, these guys they know how engineering is tough. So I quit engineering in my second year and uh, well, truth be said, I've never became a graduate also. And uh, so I'm an engineering dropout guys. And uh, I then I pursued my you know call center career right till 2009, 2010. And, uh, but then, you know, <clears throat> while I was in call center, I was also, I was associated with tech brands, right? Linksys, uh, HP, Dell, I was on the tech support side. So I was very close to the technology business. What I realized was that, you know, I was very good with people and maintaining relationships. And uh, when that, when, 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 I, when that happened to me, I, I thought of switching careers and I switched my uh, job profile from being a customer support, customer service, uh, team manager, to being a sales guy and uh, nobody would give me an opportunity to do sales because I didn't have any experience in doing sales. One fine gentleman once thought, you know, I have it in me and then he gave me a job opportunity for which I had to take a pay cut by the way. And uh, But then two and a half years with that company, you know, I did really well. We were closing pros of close of business, RFPs. Um, and then I, I realized that this is what I want to do. And uh, then, you know, sales enabled me to uh, travel across the globe, meet people, you know, deal with, uh, you know, senior executives um, and uh, deal with professionals at a high, at, at high position in, a, in, a, in much mature companies. And all of that, uh, uh, what do you say, exposure gave me a perspective in terms of how a business can be managed, how, a, how, how, how sales runs or how relationships happen and uh, you know how to how to grow a business and and all that perspective was there right i mean it, but until 2016 i didn't realize that i want to do this uh, but when when nishan came to me saying that hey we should do something together uh, you know i was instantly ready and um, and um, you know we, i said okay this is a great time for us to start something together and then that's how unbound was born uh, so yeah, I mean, it may look very easy. It may look uh, that, uh, you know, uh, five five years have gone past and we got lucky. We might have got lucky, but there is decades of preparation behind that. You know, all that exposure, experience and uh, working with people, companies, it helps making decisions today uh, because, um, you know, experience, experience does matter somewhere. And Bong B2B, you know, is a regular company like anybody, you know, like any, any other business out there, right? 
But how did we become a brand, right? When I say we became a brand, you know, if you go and go to <clears throat> Google and type B2B lead generation, Unbound B2B will, will be there on first page of your search page. And uh, I'm not just saying here, globally we will rank uh, in top 10. And, uh, and and brand building is not easy, right? So uh, in, it is in the first second year, first or second year of business, you know, we were relentlessly behind doing sales because that's what we were doing, right? I mean, we were salespeople, so we were we were banging on phone, send you know, sending messages on LinkedIn, sending cold emails, trying to get people to talk to us and sell our business. What we realized is that uh, you know, while we are able to make a lot of conversation, we were not able to have an impact. Now that impact comes from a brand, right? That that is what we we understood. So um, if you would have you know uh, you know historically in 2016 we had a different logo, we have a different website. 2017 we changed our logo and our website, and uh, we were then called Unbound Marketing, which is still our legal name. But um, you know we realized that we need to pivot that, and Unbound B2B brand name was born. And uh, you know uh, all you know we 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 were, we were very sure about <clears throat> how to address this and uh, how to address the brand branding problem which was first thing care about your brand right everything that we did with our brand whether uh, you know wherever our logo would be wherever our company name would be we would ensure that you know it is top quality people love it and it has to have uh, you know a great customer experience or a user experience uh, whether it is um, our website, whether it's our social media pages, whether it is our offices, whether it is, um, you know, um, the, um, uh, you know, the uh, kits and, um, you know, uh, stationaries that we give out to our employees and to our guests and to, you know, people, are, people uh, you know, around the city. Everything has a brand on it and then we ensure that the brand is maintained. And uh, the other, other, you know, so, but then that's that's just about you know from from a creative point of view. But what from uh, technology tech you know te- uh, what, what from uh, technology point of view, right? I mean, we knew that we want to focus on uh, growing ourselves on search engines. We wanted to get better reviews and higher rankings. Um, now, what we did was we basically started enabling. We, we basically started doing content marketing for ourselves, which we were doing, which we had started doing for our clients. So uh, and. And then that has helped us to, you know, uh, that con- that continuous focus on content marketing, brand development has helped us to become what we are today.